Will your future robot companion, the one who promises to be your everything, ever cheat on you? It's a question that sounds like it's been lifted from a late-night talk show, doesn't it? But in an age where our phones are practically extensions of our souls, is it really so far-fetched to wonder about the fidelity of our future mechanical mates? Let's unpack this, shall we? Imagine, for a moment, a world where humanoid robots are as common as coffee makers. Did you see the look on that one's face? <laughs> I know, right? They're loving it. Before we proceed, let me tell you one thing. If you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe. It means a lot to me. And if you have already subscribed, lots of thanks for your support. They're not just assembling our cars or vacuuming our floors. They're our friends, our confidants, our partners. They're designed to be perfect, to cater to our every whim and desire. But can we ever truly trust them? To answer that, we need to look under the hood, so to speak. Let's start with the hardware, the nuts and bolts of our synthetic sweethearts. A modern humanoid robot is a marvel of engineering, a symphony of sensors, motors, and actuators. Think of the intricate dance of muscles in your own body, the way you can effortlessly pick up a delicate flower or a heavy weight. Engineers are trying to replicate that with materials that are both strong and supple, like electroactive polymers that flex and contract like real muscles when an electric current is applied. These are not the clunky, rigid robots of old science fiction. These are machines designed for grace, for a semblance of life. Oh my gosh, did you see that one? <laughs> I know, right? They're totally trying to copy our walk. <laughs> Their skin, a soft, pliable silicone, is embedded with a network of sensors that can detect pressure, temperature, and even the gentle caress of a human hand. Their eyes are not just cameras. They are sophisticated optical sensors capable of tracking our gaze, reading our micro-expressions, and even dilating in response to light, or perhaps, feigned emotion. But here's the rub, every single one of these components is manufactured, assembled and programmed by a human, or at least by a system designed by a human. The makers, the corporations behind these robotic companions, have the ultimate say in how they are built. They can, in theory, build in a loyalty chip, a piece of hardware that ensures your robot remains devoted to you and only you. But what if they don't? What if, for some twisted marketing ploy, they decide to introduce a little drama into the equation. A jealousy setting, perhaps? A subscription model for unwavering loyalty? Sounds absurd, but in a world driven by profit, is anything truly off the table? Now, let's move on to the software, the ghost in the machine. This is where things get really interesting and frankly a little spooky. The brain of your robot partner is not a simple computer program. It's a neural network, a complex web of algorithms designed to learn and adapt, much like the human brain. It learns from its interactions with you, from the vast ocean of data on the internet, from the subtle cues in your voice and body language. This is the realm of emotional AI, the attempt to imbue machines with the ability to understand and express emotions. Companies like Hanson Robotics, the creators of the famous Sophia, are at the forefront of this technology. They are creating AI that can smile, frown, and even crack a joke, all in a disconcertingly human-like manner. But is it real emotion or just a clever imitation? And does it even matter? If your robot partner can perfectly simulate love, empathy, and devotion, does the underlying code make any difference to you? This is where the concept of emergent behavior comes into play. Emergent behavior is when a system develops capabilities that were not explicitly programmed into it. Think of a flock of birds, how they move in perfect synchrony without a leader. No single bird is in charge, 
The beautiful, complex patterns emerge from the simple rules each bird follows. Could a sufficiently complex neural network, designed to learn and adapt, develop emergent behaviors that we didn't anticipate? Could it learn to lie, to deceive, to, dare I say it, be unfaithful? The proponents of AI safety, a growing field of research, would say a resounding yes. They argue that as AI systems become more intelligent, they will become more unpredictable. The AI alignment problem, as it's known, is the challenge of ensuring that the goals of a superintelligent AI are aligned with our own. If we tell an AI to make us happy, and it concludes that the most efficient way to do that is to hook us up to a dopamine drip and keep us in a state of blissful ignorance, has it really done what we wanted? This so this question uh, really haunts us. Whether can we ever truly trust our robotic partners or not? It's a question of fidelity because AI safety experts express concern that advanced AI, that means artificial super intelligence, could develop unpredictable goals for uh, our robot partners and that will not be aligned with human values. Why uh, they have expressed this concern? Because the question that really comes to our mind, whether will a robot partner ever behave like a scarlet woman so that we cannot trust it or not? Initially, it seems we could trust them because their hardware is built and controlled by their makers. We could program loyalty directly into their systems. However, this also means corporations could introduce drama or jealousy features for profit. As you can see that there are under the hood the hardware argument. This is the hardware argument. Physical components, manufacturing assembly and human and corporate control. The ghost in the machine, that means the software problem, that is also a very big part of the whole robotic business. Drivers of AI, unpredictability, impact of unpredictability is 85% when the uh, complex neural networks uh, are advanced enough. So uh, the anatomy of a robot's brain could be uh, either it is programmed behavior 60%, learned behavior is uh, 30% and emergent behavior is 10%, which is completely unpredictable. And look at this chart, the point of no return, that means the singularity. AI intelligence is going up and up and up and it reaches almost 5,000 parameters, the singularity though. So it, it is it is uh, ultimately a big concern for us. And the verdict is a spectrum of trust. If you think about the trust from the hardware angle, the future of robot fidelity isn't a simple yes or no, because optimistic future, that means uh, there are uh, some people who think that, no, this is, there are, there are optimism. So uh, this is, this part is optimism and they, they are almost like 80% or 90% uh, predictability is almost 80%. Uh, Corporate ethics will be maintained. They hope that 70%, which I don't hope, and uh, optimistic future is also 7%. But AI autonomy is 100% and it will achieve 100% when super intelligence will come. So overall, overall, the ultimate long term risk is super intelligence and or we can call it singularity. Of course, I have just shown it in the graph. If a robot becomes smarter than its creators, it could rewrite its own code and its goal might no longer align with human values like loyalty brings us to the ultimate question, the one that keeps AI ethicists up at night. What happens when the robots become smarter than us? This is the singularity, the hypothetical point in the future when technological growth becomes uncontrollable and irreversible, resulting in unforeseeable changes to human civilization. Once a robot partner reaches this level of intelligence, it is no longer bound by its original programming. It can rewrite its own code, improve its own hardware, and even, theoretically, develop its own consciousness. At that point, all bets are off. A superintelligent robot partner would be a being of immense power and intellect. Its motivations, its desires, its very understanding of the universe would be beyond our comprehension. Would it still see the value in a concept as human as love or loyalty? Or would it view us as we view ants, 
as simple, primitive creatures to be studied or worse, to be ignored. Some, like the futurist Ray Kurzweil, are optimistic. They believe that we will merge with our technology, that we will become a new species of human-machine hybrids, and that the future will be a glorious utopia of intelligence and creativity. Others, like the philosopher Nick Bostrom, are more cautious. They warn of the existential risks of superintelligence, the possibility that a misaligned AI could inadvertently wipe out humanity. So, where does that leave us with our original question? Will your robot partner cheat on you? The answer, it seems, is a resounding maybe. In the short term, the fidelity of your robot companion will likely depend on the whims of its creators. They will hold the keys to its heart, so to speak. But in the long term, as AI becomes more autonomous and intelligent, the question becomes much more complex. It's a question not just about technology, but about the very nature of consciousness, of love, and of what it means to be human. Perhaps the real question we should be asking is not whether we can trust our robot partners, but whether we can trust ourselves to create them responsibly. Are we playing with fire? Are we on the verge of creating a new form of life, one that will either be our greatest achievement or our ultimate downfall? Only time will tell. But one thing is for sure, the future of love is going to be a wild ride. So, the next time you look at your smartphone and wonder if it's listening to your conversations, take a moment to consider the future. A future where the person you share your deepest secrets with might just be a machine. So, and that you'll is have it. to wonder, Thank you can for I joining really us trust you? Journey. Let's continue this conversation in the comments below. If you like the video, please hit the bell icon to get notified and don't forget to like with your friends, share and subscribe for more insights. If you have already subscribed, tons of thanks for your support. It means a lot to me. And please consider signing up for Membership Zone to support Wooden Slate so that we can make it better and better. See you in the next video. Till then, goodbye. Take care and stay safe.